Child, welcome back, Dukes and Duke Edge's man, Eddie Ed TV. I'm Eddie Ed, back with another video. We got Flight Reacts making some fried chicken, some deep fried chicken. So we're going to see um, if, if his cooking skills are till. well, actually, I can't see because I can't taste it. But just based off of how he cooks it or how he makes it, let's see if Flight learned how to cook properly or if he does it properly. I am curious to what it tastes like would i taste it uh, maybe i don't know um but yeah man smash the like button drop your thoughts in the comments uh of this video and uh share share the content said he had tv let's get into it pal flight crew ftc flight team stand up we got chef reacts back up in the cut chef today, reacts I'm gonna be making my main favorite go-to food that I honestly can eat anywhere. You okay. take me to the fanciest restaurant, I'm gonna still order this. And that is my friends, chicken tenders. So we're not gonna be using the pan, pasta stove, we're not gonna be- I thought, I thought he meant his, his, his go-to as in like he makes it often, but he don't make it often, so let's see how uh, he makes it. In the air fryer, we're using a pro fire, something oh. that you would see oh. in the state fair, something you would see in any type of event or any type of food truck, man. Come That's on right. now, the first thing you're gonna need Ooh. is look at my new toy. Yeah. Now, bro, you don't really need this. You can still use the original pots and pans. You still use an air fryer. You know what's crazy um, about using like those type of fries is you just have you have to buy a lot of oil. Buy it like that's the toughest part is the oil part. If it, if if you can have if it came with like well not came with it, but if you if oil wasn't so expensive, especially the good oil, because if you use like canola and them cheap stuff, that's easy. But I'm talking about using good oil. To cook those food, to fry your foods, it's so difficult to have that much used at one setting, you know, because it's like you just really have to use the whole bottle. Whatever you have, you know what I'm saying, at your disposable will. I'm honestly really not even trying to promote it, but I don't gatekeep. This one that I'm using is called Pro Fry. This is like one of the newest ones that came out this year. Next up, you don't need some cooking oil. I prefer to use the Weston canola oil, especially hey. when making like any type of fried chicken. Pickle juice, your uh, couple of seasons. You can add your seasons of choice prefer. But for chicken tears in particular, I don't like them too crazy seasoned. So I just use the basics, paprika, garlic pepper, black pepper, onion powder, and the salt. But like I said, you're free to use any type of season that you feel like uh, fits your Hold favorite. on, what kind of salt do he have, bro? <laughs> Why is the outside brown, bro? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you gotta get some flour. You're making cut, money, son. Si. You gotta have some sauces for the tennis, bro. If you just eat your tennis straight dry, you need to be a study or something. Get any type of water, not tap water, though. Um, and then last but not least, any type of organic chicken tenor. Wash out the chicken. The chicken needs a bath. The chicken needs a shower. You know what I'm saying? And then right after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this glacier bag. All right, everybody, after you wash it so fresh, so clean, clean chicken out, and it is nice and clean. All you gotta do is put it right here in the glacier bag, and I got a bowl right underneath just to capture any moisture if it happens to leak out of the bag. Or you can double bag it, whatever you prefer. That's actually a good so idea. With the fried chicken tenders, man, I'm gonna go good ahead idea. and mix it up with buttermilk, the pickle juice, and then any type of water that is not tapped and put it all inside the bag. Don't what fill water up. though? It'll probably fill up like little halfway mix in between of everything in one bag. And we're gonna go ahead and put it. Hey yo, fly! I don't think you should add water in there. I think I think just those ingredients you just shared without minus the water is good because you, now you're watering down the flavor that it could potentially have. So I don't. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's, it does something to it. I don't. I don't think you should water it though. That's I wouldn't water it. In the refrigerator. Now you can put it in the refrigerator um, up to 30 minutes, an hour, two hours for the best, best takes. I've heard you can put up to four to six plus hours. A little buttermilk just like this. I like to just go ahead and use all the pickle juice. Um, if your pickle juice comes in just one bottle, you can use any water that you prefer. Or oh, maybe, sure. or maybe it's to like simmer down the pickle juice, maybe? Make sure that it's not tap, so you don't have that tap flavor. So you're just gonna do that for about 10 seconds. Oh, flight, mate, now, doggy. You're gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. I'll see you guys in about 45. All right, y'all, it's been and over that an way too watery. I'm to take out the chicken tenders shortly, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pro fire set up Dang. right here. I'm about to go ahead and put in this uh, Western canola oil. You know the oil is cheap when you when you gotta get like a gallon jug of it, bro. Now, if you can see uh, right there, you know what I'm saying, you wanna kinda reach everything to 350. And also, by the way, that's the same exact temperature that you would set the stove or you would want your cooking oil to be at the temperature of when you're frying your tenders if you happen to do it on a pan um, or anything of that nature. All right, everybody, I just took the chicken. 
quick question who made up the 350 thing like where did that come from the 350 temperature if somebody knows drop it in the comments because i don't know why we do 350 as a commonality but somebody had to have started it because we do it so if y'all know where 350 came three three 350 degrees for stove for the oven let me know drop it in the comments chicken centers that was in the buttermilk for almost an hour and a half nice and soaked up and marinated inside his buttermilk we're about to go ahead and mix on uh hands on with the flour and we're gonna uh, add the seasoning you put all the seasonings and everything you want your uh chicken tenders to taste like all in the flour at once mix it up with this so fresh and so clean clean whisk and then it should be ready to be in a pro fire the pro fire takes about i say five to ten minutes to fully warm up you also don't want to leave that oil sitting there because it loses i forgot that vocab word but it just loses some type <laughs> of like I want to just say density. I just made up that vocab word, I guess. All right, for the pepper. Dang, that's a lot of seasoning. Good like that. Dang. Paprika. Now, paprika comes off a little spicy to me, so I don't like putting too much. You know, already know I'm going to do that seasoning check for y'all. Paprika's exact not even. The exact amount of seasoning depends on what you like. You know what I'm saying? Usually, you do like a teaspoon, a half tablespoon or whatever, but I like to do it by hand. All right, y'all. Yo. So, you want... Your seasoning kind of be looking something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do just one more round of each season. Damn! Which be just set from he the said he didn't want a lot of seasoning, dog. Well, it's in the flour, so I don't know. But that's a lot of seasoning, though. Go I'm not gonna lie. Mix it into that flour. You know what I'm saying? You want your consistency of the flour to still be white when you're done mixing it. But obviously, you're gonna see the particles of the seasoning um, up in there. So it takes a couple of seconds. That makes my nose tingly, boy. Woo! Paprika. Paprika's not spicy. You know that old I use center, cayenne. Man. Take your chicken centers out of the bag, and you're gonna do this for each one of them. You know what I'm saying? Give it that last. Yeah. Little hey, trip. yo, that look that looks so nasty. How he jiggling it? That looks gross. My stomach was like about to start twisting, bro. Splite, that's too watery, man. Like the the butter, it gotta be thick on this chicken, man. It's it's everything falling off, dog. Let's see how he makes this. I'm already a little disappointed. And just go ahead and put it right in the flour, just like this. Now we're gonna do this with all the chicken tenders and then put that, all the chicken tenders all in the flour. Just don't dump the chicken tenders all at once because you don't want that excess of buttermilk uh, to be in there. But that's what you're gonna be basically wanting your chicken tender coating to look like when it's all said and done. Make okay. sure you get, like show all the corners, corner nicely. show all the ends some love. Huh. All right, y'all, it's about that time to dip. The masterpiece chicken tenders All right. into the pro fryer. Nah, nah, now, this is good. Dip. This only takes about <clears throat> seven to ten minutes. So I'm gonna be sitting here the whole time. I'm not gonna leave nowhere. I'm not gonna take a cheap break. We're gonna be right here. Now, one thing too, also make sure you don't overfill each bin and everything because it will not cook uh, evenly and correctly. But that's the sound yeah, exactly true. you want to hear. That is before true. Before you drop the so fresh and so clean, clean. Oh yeah, I do. I do like the sound of how they when they drop. All right, y'all. I do go, like go that. Go ahead and drop the chicken tenders just like this. Oh yeah, they taking now, a bath, y'all. Advice: If you want your tenders to be crispier, keep this open. All right. So we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna tell y'all what it's gonna be talking about in about seven, ten minutes. Make sure you stay away from here too. This is not a toy. This grease can pop back and hit you. So you occasionally do want to come by and check and make sure all parts of the chicken is getting some love. You know what I'm saying? If it needs more of a um, cooking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's looking it good. Both sides. Damn. Damn, they bubbling. Now, I think it's about that time Ooh to take it out, y'all. It's looking good. Look at that. Come on, look at that. Talk to me. We not, this is not even an up-close picture, man. Let's go ahead and put it on the, the foil pan. Make sure you steer clear of that trip. You know oh, what I'm saying? He, he, your feet is done. He, yeah, he's dripping it all over the place, dog. Right? I'm doing this with one hand, y'all. You know what I'm saying? No cameraman right here, but... This is dangerous how I'm doing it, but dangerous. You you've messed up the make floor. It work. Okay, hey, we made it work. Come on, come on. Oh, we can't miss the chicken. Oh, that's stuck. Ooh, that chicken don't want to come out. It got that's fried. That's crazy. That chicken don't want to come out. It got fried in the corner. There we go. It tried to play me. That chicken ain't want to come out. 
No chicken left behind. Turn off your pro fire, safety first, every time you remove anything. And also, free game to you guys. Do not dump this oil down the sink, down the drain. I go ahead okay. and wait about, honestly, a full day, maybe six plus hours for it to completely cool off. Get four grocery bags and put the oil in the grocery bags. Make sure you don't actually spill it on the floor. Make sure you bounce off. Probably get two people if you can. If not, just position it to where, you know what I'm saying, you won't drop. And then throw it out in a regular trash can, all right? The final stage is we're going to need to check the internal temperature of the chicken. As you guys can see, it is almost past 165, which is the exact where you want to have it um, for a chicken eternally cooked. Almost <laughs> pushing 180. It's probably like at 170 ish. Right I don't, there, I don't know. Everything looks good to go. We don't have that taste test right the now. Internal right, man, temperature. I got two but... different sauces in it, man. I got my favorite to use on chicken tenders, especially barbecue or honey mustard. Comment down below which y'all favorite sauce down below. I ain't gonna lie, I don't got no ranch. A lot of y'all was on my oh. neck the last cooking video. You gotta have the ranch. Gotta my have barbecue that ranch, was a man. Up before, you know what I'm saying? I tried my food. Now it's, it's gotta be with up. the ranch. Don't say nothing. All right, y'all. Here we go. It looks good though. Chicken center from Dut Reacts. Let me get this little barbecue. Okay, it's crunchy. Oh, it's crunchy. It's okay. Okay, that's not. Hey. I know you heard that crunch. I heard it. The crispiness is there. Nice and hot. This thing need to focus. I heard it. 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 Hear that crunch. I know you hear that crunch. That was a crunch. I heard that. Hey, you know what he needs to do? He needs to 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 up up the, uh, to up up these uh, tenders, Matt. Shoot, I'm ooh, I'm gonna make my own tent. He inspired me to make my tenders, bro. I'm gonna make my own tender, but dang, I gotta get a lot of oil. That's the only part about making this prop thing. It would be the toughest for me because I don't have a, I don't have a deep fryer, and then it's too much oil to buy. That's the only thing that's stopping me from doing this. Um, but if he makes his own, own like tender sauce, like to, in, nah, see, not nah, now. Nah, I can't even find the word I'm looking for. Uh, like, like you know, like barbecue wings, uh, honey garlic wings. Like if he makes. His tenders like that to where it's is is sauced up, and then he has the dipping sauce. Next level. That'll be the next level he needs to graduate to. I promise you. Change it all up. You can never go wrong with chicken tenders. You can never go wrong. You go to a restaurant you've never been to before. Just get the chicken tenders. That plan is simple, man. Hey man, I'm also about to whip up some fries too in the little uh, pro Ooh. fryer, but these are like homemade, just something you just buy in the store. Have to get some fries. You thought I forgot the fries? Hey man, be sure to like the video, man. Comment down below what I should. Uh, he, he, he didn't do bad. I thought. I thought I'd be a little bit different. He didn't do bad. Um, let me know if you thought he uh, did did his thing in the comments, man. It looks good, looks crispy. Flavor wise, I don't know how it tastes, you know, <laughs> obviously. But. I don't think it was bad. I think it was pretty decent. I don't like... The only thing I didn't like about his process is putting the water inside the actual... Um, like the actual water-based uh, thing he was doing. Like the buttermilk and the pickle juice. You could have... It would have been perfectly fine without water. Like maybe he did that to, to simmer down the pickle taste. But I don't know. But all I know is that I wouldn't have put water in mine. Um, let me know what you would have done and how you make your ch uh, chicken tenders if you want to. Sadie TV. Catch you guys next video. Peace.